All right, guys, a uh, similar video to the one this morning. I, I, I got to take some time out to show some appreciation for these guys because at the end of the day, I try to be objective on this channel, so I end up talking some trash about them because, well, I, I, I feel like things need to be pointed out if I feel like they're true. And I have said some... I, I don't know if I would even call them negative things about Bobby Wagner in recent years, but um, I have said that his play had diminished. So I want to take this video to, like I did with Wilson, say genuinely and sincerely, thank you, Bobby Wagner, for an incredible 10 years as a Seahawks middle linebacker. Um, he, he missed like less than 10 career games. Iron Man in the middle there. Um, playing, getting into crash, car crashes every other play always around the ball, always around the ball carrier, always involved in these big impact plays, and he goes out there every single week almost. Uh, versatile player. Uh, back in his heyday, I remember him covering like Randall Cobb-type receivers deep down the field. Uh, he was a dangerous pass rusher those first few years especially. Did a whole lot of awesome stuff for this defense. He was the middle linebacker for this defense for the first four years of his career where... Every year, we were the number one defense in the league by points allowed. You're probably never going to see that again, and Bobby was the uh, signal caller behind most of it. So uh, I can't I can't take away too much from that. That's an incredible run. And then later in his career, when the defense wasn't elite anymore, he was still getting all-pro nods like it was nothing. He uh, made five straight first-team all-pros, made another first-team all-pro in 2014, uh, he made All-Pro Team 2 twice, second team All-Pro twice. Um, you're not going to see another Seahawk probably make that many All-Pro teams. And All-Pro teams are where it's at. Pro Bowl is a joke. If you want to know what the real is, you look at the All-Pro teams. Those guys actually give a damn about who's actually performing. So um, the fact that Bobby Wagner, eventually he kind of became like the guy at the club who doesn't need to have his name on the list to be let in. He, he became like a guy who just showed up. It didn't matter if he was on the list or not. You knew who he was and you were going to let him into the club. So um, Bobby made, like I said, six first team all pros. It would be, to me, a pretty big upset if we ever had another player. Oh, welcome to the uh, channel, my new sub. But um, yeah, it would be a shock if we had another player make that many all pros in a career. Especially these days, you just don't see it that often. So... Almost 1,400 tackles, uh, almost 70 tackles for loss, 23 and a half sacks, 11 interceptions, backbone of an elite defense for the first four years of his career. It, it's pretty great, and I want to say thank you. Uh, I've said this before, but Bobby is my favorite Seahawk of all time, and I, a lot of people kind of, I don't know, they don't believe me when I say that because I advocate so hard for him to be cut in a lot of my recent videos where I talk about Wagner, and... Look, I said it in my video last night, I'm going to say it again. When I love a player, that, that doesn't mean I want to see them turn into a corpse on the field on me. I don't need to... I, my, my experience loving that player does not need to be validated by me seeing them become a bad player and somebody who I even grow to resent a little bit. Um, you may see that happen with Carroll as time goes by. More and more people are going to start resenting him the further he gets away from that Super Bowl if he can't produce results now. So... Uh, there were some people who were saying we should extend Bobby. There were some people who were saying we should keep Bobby around until he's ready to retire. But I didn't need to see 35-year-old Bobby Wagner waddle around the field with a bunch of, you know, wraps all over his body and just trying and failing to make a real impact on the game. That 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 doesn't need to be part of the Bobby Wagner experience. So I'm happy he's gone. I'm happy that he now gets an opportunity to try to find somewhere else to maybe win. Uh, I think he does have some good football left. I don't know if he has great football left. To me, he hasn't played great football in probably at least a year, maybe two. But I know that he can still play some. I, I think the Seahawks did him a massive disservice when they played him every single snap last year. I know he was trying to chase some tackle records. But to me... When you're a 31-year-old linebacker with that many miles on your body, why do you want to be going out there for every single snap? Don't you want to take a few snaps off? I, I, I didn't, I didn't like that. I felt like we were kind of failing Bobby. And sure enough, uh, week 17, 
he goes down with an injury. Imagine if we were in the playoff race and that happened. Imagine if we made the playoffs and then we didn't have Bobby for a playoff game because we were so obsessed with milking every last little bit of production we could get out of him that we didn't think about the long-term ramifications. So that, that to me was a failing of this organization to support Bobby enough. Um, I can't really say too much about the teammates he got to play with because he got to play with some incredible teammates. And there are guys who, whatever they do off the field, however they act after they leave Seattle, et cetera, et cetera, whatever they have to say, I'm always going to remember them very fondly because I'm going to remember that run of number one overall defenses for four straight years. Guys like Bobby, KJ, Ave. Cliff Averill, Michael Bennett, they were there for more, most of it. Cam, Sherman, Earl. They do some stuff that I don't appreciate. They do. But I'll always remember that group, and I'll always remember what they did. And Bobby is a guy who did just as much to bring this team a Super Bowl as Wilson has done. Um, obviously, Wilson's the quarterback, but Bobby was playing at elite levels already in his second year when that Super Bowl occurred. So I, this one, I'm completely at peace with letting him go. I am. But part of that is because I liked him so much and I appreciated what he gave this team so much. He was a professional. I, I never dealt with any kind of off-season drama with him, which was really nice because we have plenty of other players who were creating the occasional bits of drama. Bobby always kept quiet. Bobby just kept doing his job. Uh, we, we gave him two contract extensions in his career. I don't really think we regretted either one of them. You could maybe argue that the third one went a year too long, but it's not the worst. And at the end of the day, he stayed productive and stayed in the good graces of most people who um, study football for a living to determine which players are doing the best. So, yeah, incredible career for Bobby. In a way, I'm kind of happy to see him get out of what is currently turning into a rebuild and have a chance to go somewhere that maybe can play him not as much, at least not 100% of the damn snaps, and maybe give him an opportunity to become a effective player in part-time on a team that actually is winning. So <clears throat> it's going to be weird to see him in another jersey, but I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm ready for it now. And all I can say is thank you to Bobby. I, I just wanted to show my appreciation because, again... Part of being a foot, trying to be a football analyst on YouTube is being honest when you feel like something is the case. And I believe it was the case that Bobby was, I don't know if he was holding this team back, but that he wasn't worth the money we were paying him anymore and it was time to do something else. But that, that doesn't change the fact that I have an appreciation for what he managed to do in his career. Um... It was a great run, but um, all things must come to an end. I'd rather it end like this than end with him waddling around the field in four years and getting hurt, getting off the bench, and having to retire kind of with his head hanging. All right, uh, see you guys later. We're going to return to normal content pretty soon, or at least somewhat normal, as normal as you can make it right now, but um, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. Peace out, Go Hawks. Mm -hmm. And uh, voice your appreciation for Bobby down below.